Alrighty, good day and welcome. My name is Mr. JB and today we're going through another Photopea tutorial. Today we are going through doing a torn paper effect. So to start, I've got my image in here already and then I'm going to download my brushes. This link here is what I'm going to use. You'll click this free download. This website is awesome. Uh, Brush Easy. Once you download it, you're going to drop that quick folder in and it will be within your brushes section. Now when I start this, I'm going to right click my image to begin and convert it to a smart object. I'm going to do Control J just to duplicate my image. That way I've, I've got it because we've got to do some separate adjustments. And then I'm going to do image adjustments and I'm going to change the hue and saturation on the top layer. I'm going to make it black and white for this. It'll all make sense in a moment. From here, we are going to add a raster mask. So that's going to be the camera thing down in the bottom right. We still have our layer one selected. And then we are going to go to our brush. With our brush selected, we are going to choose one of our papers, whichever one you want. I'm going to choose the 2068 and I'm going to choose the size that'll pretty much just fit the space, which I think for me is somewhere around 1100. Perfect. And I'm just going to drop in. Oh, I got to change it to black. Make sure that your image color is black and you're going to be selecting the right side, the raster mask on your layer one. And you should notice that the color comes back. If it does, excellent. That's what we want to do. I'm just going to select my mouse, my cursor, and then from here, we are going to do our last adjustment. This is pretty quick to go through this effect. Uh, I am going to go and I'm going to go to my effect and I'm going to go to drop shadow. With drop shadow, this is going to be a bunch of personal preference. You're going to change your opacity, choose your distance, how deep you want those shadows to portray in, and kind of mess with the angle to, again, match your personal preference. Cool. And one last thing that I missed, doesn't matter, it's not going to affect anything. You're going to go to filter, you're going to go to noise and add noise. You're going to make sure that it's monochromatic and you're going to drop it to somewhere around the three to five range. That'll make it look a little bit more grainy and kind of make the actual colored portion of this image pop better. Now with that, that's all that this tutorial is. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Have a wonderful day. Take care and be safe.